Hi, I'm Larry Stewart. I'm here on the show floor at World of Concrete 2011 with Jamie Wright, the product specialist for Terex, and he's uh, taking us through a uh, quick walkthrough of some of the key points on Terex's first skid steer loader. Tell us about it, Jamie. Oh, thanks, Larry. Yeah, um, well, we're introducing our, our skid steer loaders here at the show. Um, we're very excited to uh, have this ability to present this product to the public for uh, for purchase and uh, we have actually eight models that we're coming out with in 2011. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have uh, four radius lift machines uh, and four vertical lift path machines uh, ranging from 1,500 pound to 3,000 pound lift capacity and 50 horsepower to 83 horsepower. So this is on the small end, right? This is a radius lift path machine at, yep. at 1,500 uh, rated operating capacity? Yeah, this is kind of on the lower end. This is kind of our compact unit, uh, smaller unit. Okay. A good general all around uh, for a contractor, it'd be a good general all around unit. Okay. Uh, especially in the rental companies, uh, they'll appreciate this unit as well. Nice and small, compact. So, um, what are the, the top line features that you think really distinguish this machine from the rest of the skid steer loader market? It's a pretty crowded one out there. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, you know, when we started developing this machine, we had to look at, you know, what the competition had and what we wanted to kind of emulate in the market. Uh, what are some of the features that the competitors had and what, what are some of the things that we want to take as our Terex ASV legacy and transfer that over to our skid loader market? Uh, so we took a look at some of our competitors and we looked at ground clearance as being an attribute. Uh, we look, looked at lift height, uh, overall reach, uh, to be able to be reach into the uh, box of a truck. Um, we looked at ground speed, we looked at uh, our tractive efforts, how hard do our wheels want to turn, uh, which equals productivity. We looked at ease of maintenance, because in today's environment, we feel a lot of contractors today are wanting to do maintenance on their own. And so if we, if we make it easy for the operator to maintain the machine, uh, chances are it'll get checked more often, and they can save some money by possibly doing some of the work themselves. Um, that along with our pressurized cabs, uh, operator environment's extremely important today. Uh, keeping that environment clean, uh, dust free. So we're able to pressurize our cabs with not only our air conditioning unit, but with just our heat unit as well. So if you want to pressurize your cab, you don't have to spend extra money on air conditioning if you don't need it. You can simply put a heater in it and pressurize our cabs as well. Okay, I see. Well, uh, some of your literature mentions um, uh, axle torque. And I, yep. I know you got a, uh, in this particular machine, you got a 60 horsepower Perkins mm -hmm. engine. What's the key to taking that horsepower and delivering it into axle torque? Well, that's a good question. Well, we have, well, you have to match up all the components in the, uh, in the cycle that brings it to the ground. Mm -hmm. So your engine hooked directly into your hydrostat, for instance. Um, direct coupling and not using belts or using uh, uh, drive shafts. It's direct coupled with a flex, shaft, uh, flex mount plate. Uh, that transfers the power from the engine directly into the hydrostat, uh, increasing our, engine, our hydraulic horsepower. Mm -hmm. Now you have to match up the drive motors as well to, to those pumps. So we use high end, you know, in this particular unit we use Rex Roth drive motors. Mm -hmm. uh, so those drive motors are really a, a relation to how much torque we have. So the higher end uh, axle, axle torque will, is actually a result of having a higher end drive motor okay. from Rexroth. Uh, so that's where we get all that transfer of power down into the reduction shafts, uh, reduction sprockets in our, in our uh, bow tie drive system mm -hmm. uh, and into our axle pods. So yeah. all those are related to one another, which increases our tractive effort. I see. And uh, you mentioned uh, just a minute ago, um, and I, I want to make sure that we don't don't go over it too quickly, is that that relationship with ASV, Terex has owned ASV since 2008. This machine comes off the, the line right next to the to the ASV uh, uh, legacy um, compact track loaders. Mm -hmm. Is that Rexroth pump? Is that something that comes out of the Terex, or I'm sorry, the ASV? Uh, um, uh, experience with building a machine like this? Sure, and it's all about not necessarily which manufacturer we use, but making sure that we use the best manufacturer available to get the performance we need out of that particular component. Mm -hmm. And what you know, what Terex ASV uh, brings to the table for 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 us is that that legacy that they have in matching up those components to make sure that we have the highest performing machine on the market, or or very close to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, making the machine. Uh, very easy to operate. They understand things like uh, boom integrity, chassis uh, manufacturing, they understand hydraulics, valving, diesel engine technology, yeah. um, all those things they understand it. So they've taken what they've learned in the track loader market since the 80s and applied all that expertise into the track, into the skid loader.
Yeah. Um, so it was really a, a nice fit for us that, you know, going from a track loader right into a skid loader production, uh, being a unique design ground up, unique from the track loaders. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, awesome. it's nice to have the, you know, one of the pioneers of the compact track loader business building your uh, your skid steer loader, right? It, it definitely is going to give uh, end users a lot of confidence going into their first purchase. Yeah. Uh, because we have that history behind us of, uh, of that integrity in the marketplace, uh, our quality, our durability, our power, mm -hmm. and uh, some of our, our creature comforts inside the cab re uh, reflect directly with uh, the result of the evolution of the CTLs.